COVID-19 is having widespread impacts across the globe, and now there's concern that it could potentially impact the 2020 Summer Olympics. So let's take a look by the numbers. Three months, that's how much time the longest serving member of the International Olympic Committee says that there is to decide the fate of the Tokyo Summer Games as coronavirus spreads fast in neighboring China and now South Korea. With the Olympics scheduled to open on July 24th, the official tells the Associated Press that a decision could be made as late as May on whether the coronavirus is under control enough to allow the Olympics to move forward as planned. With some 11,000 athletes expected to compete in the Summer Games and tens of thousands more spectators attended, expected to travel from around the world to watch, a potential pandemic that lasts through the spring could make pulling off a large-scale global event impossible. Japan is officially spending $12.6 billion to organize this year's Olympics, although estimates project a much higher budget, making cancellation or postponement a costly move. The last time the Olympics were canceled was 76 years ago, in 1944, when the Summer Games planned for London were called off because of World War II. But Olympic officials say for now it's still business as usual, and they expect the Games to go forward. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.